All right, what's up YouTube and welcome back to another video and I want to end off the year right and bring back the fitted collection just like I did my sneaker collection that I posted on Christmas day. So link it in the description if you want to check it out. And uh, I did do also the fitted collection last year as well. So you can check that out as well. Just the quality is not as good as, as what the videos I've done now. Um, just because that was like a year and a half ago or something like that. So yeah, and when I did that, um, my collection was uh, still pretty big. Um, and I collected more hats from then, but I think, you know, uh, in the last like two, three years, especially I've got way more just because of, you know, like the, the wave of like customs and stuff. And, and like my love for hats kind of started, uh, when I was like probably early high school. So that was probably like seven, eight years ago. Um, I, I loved wearing baseball fitteds. Um, I used to play like fancy baseball and everything. Uh, used to play baseball on the side as a kid, even, even younger as well. I love the sport, going to Jays games all the time here in Toronto, and uh, yeah, I always loved like fitteds and stuff, but I was always scared to like wear them because I was, I was self-conscious. I would always wear them uh, backwards because I thought you couldn't curve the brim, and I found out uh, like three years ago you could actually curve the brim and it wouldn't crack, and that there's custom ones with actual like patches that I've seen from over the years. I got hooked in uh, right away, so... Um, and yeah, and that's where the collection was born. So yeah, I got a lot of hats. Um, a lot of people that tell me this is the biggest hat collection they've seen. Um, I've seen some guys, I don't know if you check it out, uh, but something vaults um, with hats and stuff. One of the guys on there has a huge collection and stuff. So um, definitely not definitely not the biggest, but I'm, maybe I'm up there, maybe top 100 or something like that, who knows. Uh, a lot of hat collectors, especially through, uh, throughout the US and stuff, so. Yeah, and uh, most of my collection, by the way, just a disclaimer, is Hat Club, most of it. Um, just because, first of all, if I started buying from other companies, I would have less money in my bank account because I would be wanting to look at everything. And I do recognize the other places as well. So, And Hat Club's always treated me well. Up here in Canada, I've never hit duties in, in like four or five hat orders. Uh, never, uh, like customer service has been great. Never had I had minimal issues. And, um, and yeah, so that's why I've stuck to them. So... Yeah, but anyways, we'll start with the collection. I kind of have it like color coded um, somewhat, but like over the years, it's kind of got like less and less, you know, um, organized in that way. Um, but yeah, I'm big on history, uh, baseball. I played football as a kid growing up. So uh, I do love football fits. You'll see a lot in here, but I think, um, and those have recently really came to a renaissance as well. Um, but I love baseball as well too. So I'm big into the history. Uh, when I see a patch, it reminds me of a past time or just history in general if I wasn't alive, obviously. But we'll start with like the black crown hats because everything is pretty much organized by crown, not really necessarily like the, the brim, the top of the brim or the under brim. So we're gonna start off uh, with the classic Hat Club collection. Uh, this is the Black Dome collection. So it's just the Florida Marlins. It's a, it's a logo that they don't really use too often. Uh, inaugural season 1993 patch. Uh, this one's crazy, it's just a green under brim. I think one of their most simple collections, but one of their best ones. Then we got obviously the Seattle Mariners, same thing. Uh, love this patch, 40th anniversary out there of the Seattle skyline. So uh, it goes crazy. I love I love when they have patches that kind of go, to, like they, they pay homage to the cities and stuff. And, and you know, this is Ken Griffey Jr. is one of his logos when he used to play with the Mariners. So we got also this collection I was kind of slept on, uh, Cyberpunk, uh, if anybody played the games. Uh, Cyberpunk's pretty awesome, uh, especially since they, they got rid of all like the bugs and, and the glitches pretty much by now if you are interested in playing it. I do like this collection. It's pretty nice. Nothing crazy. I like what they did. Just kind of like pops part of the game. And shout out to probably my favorite collection of hat clubs ever dropped and pack in general, the Ox Pack, uh, the original. Um, when I got this, this was crazy. It's based on uh, Championships by Meek Mill. Um, one of my favorite hip hop albums, probably like top 10, top 15 for me. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, and I love I love it. This one as well. They barely use the OA World Series patch, uh, one that's not used too much. Like I said, love like the glitter. Like shout out to Justin and John. Like when you guys did the original Ox pack and those four waves right away, incredible, incredible. Like like I'm telling you, like just the amount of like attention to detail with these hats, unbelievable. And this one's no different. And we got the they're calling it like it's like the Halloween pack. I think from like 2020, uh, Glow My Gods. Um, this is just the Diamondbacks version. It is glow in the dark. Um, Halloween so this will like all this is all glow in the dark threading same with the patch and everything really nice really nice hat um, I love that huge patch from the inaugural season for the d back so the patch that I see is never used this is like part of this all-star decades pack um, it's uh, like a regular San Francisco Giants colors uh, their big logo though that's the old one and then it is I believe 61 all-star game patch like the Golden Gates right there and stuff and no Batterman because the whole collection is pretty much 
homage to you know if there was Batterman's, uh, what UVs there were during that when that team was playing in their city for the All Star year. Or so um, yeah, very cool collection if you love baseball history. Then we got the Subway Series pack, very underrated. I think it's kind of based on the New York um, subway system. And if you guys are from uh, New York City, you would know obviously. Uh, you kind of see all like the on the Subway Series as well, uh, patch, and you see all like the different lines and stuff, right? So like here in Toronto, like we have the TTC. Then we got a really cool, this is uh, NFL crossover uh, with Oakland A's, and pretty much you know it's the Oakland Raiders. Um, I wish they were still in Oakland. Shout out to you guys, anybody that's out there in the Bay, but um, yeah, now in Vegas. But uh, I love this one, it's very simple. Um, it's got like that glitter effect that, you know, it, it has the logo. And then even on the side, the side patch, pretty crazy. So and then we got this one. This is Gold Digger, A's again. So pretty much the whole part of this pack is just the patch is in gold and the rest, uh, rest of the hat is blacked out. So I really like this. It's not even crazy. I think they restocked it recently. Didn't pick one up, but uh, they, they sat pretty easily. But no, it's a cool, very clean hat. They never, I don't know. I never really see this, like this old color coordination with the Pirates. Um, I just love how it is with like the red and the red button. Um, and then obviously the logo, like they have it. I, I think they, yeah, they wore this at, what was this, 06? So it's probably the 06 season. So yeah, I love that patch as well. Uh, always wanted to go to PNC Park in Pittsburgh. Uh, one day it's gonna happen, maybe next season. Now now that there's an interleague schedule really now, so MLB script, they haven't done this in a while, but this is really cool. It's pretty much in that script and it's got the classic logo over here. This one's nice as well. And then we got, for more football fans, uh, NFL crossover. This is uh, the Atlanta Falcons from the era of primetime, obviously Deion Sanders. Used to play there. I remember. I remember this was. They were saying this was gonna be so hard to get. I remember, and I was in. I think I was driving in Ottawa, and I was able to grab this online. Um, this is crazy. This is, oh my god! If you're a football fan, like look, look, look at the look at the '92 World Series. By the way, Jays won that World Series. Uh -huh. Shout out to OC Osprey, and then I think Hats with Style. Uh, they did a collaboration. Uh, it was based on a Negro League uh, crossover, which is a huge part of baseball history. Um, because without it, you know, maybe would baseball wouldn't be what it is today. Um, and some legends used to play in there just like Jackie Robinson and I love this one This one was one of them. I do have a bunch of the collection. You will see later It's like the I think I don't remember what it was inspired by but this is the Texas Rangers one it's This really cool logo with the cowboy hat uh, with actual the 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 full writing of the name in there I love this patch with the state of Texas 40th anniversary. Uh, this one is crazy super simple one I think this was the only because they they released them like per division and when they did this this one the AL West they almost sold out all of them, but then after the other ones were easy cops. So don't really know why. Um, I wish there was more love for this collection, but O.C. Osprey and uh, Hassel with Style, shout out to you. You guys did a great job with this collection. Hopefully you guys make another one soon. We got a Meyer League hat, of course, Salem Avalanche. Uh, if y'all know that one, very defunct uh, team. Uh, I thought this was so cool. I think they dropped it this year. I just love I just love it Like with obviously the patch. I don't really have too many Meyer League patches um, as well. And it just shows like the baseball is kind of like, kind of like firing down like an avalanche, which is so cool. And I think Salem is in Virginia though, so it's not even in like Colorado or anything, but uh, I thought this was like a really cool uh, one. It reminds you of Colorado Rockies as well. Then we got this like Miami Heat pinky. I just wanted a freaking, like, like NBA fitteds, like Mitchell and Ness, like it's so like, I don't love the quality of them. It's just cool, it's got 30th anniversary. It's probably the nicest, one of the nicest NBA fitteds I've seen for New Era, so. We got this hat, uh, this is based on Shoei Otani's team in um, Japan. I can't remember which one it was, but um, this one is so cool. It's got his own patch that when he when he came into the MLB, um, they gave him this patch, I guess New Era has it. Uh, I thought this is so cool, very clean hat. Um, it's got those pops of the inspiration of the team he played for in Japan. Literally the Babe Ruth of Japanese baseball. And like, and other than here in the US and North America, I think, and maybe a Dominican, like Japan's right there with the, with the baseball like powerhouses of the world. So then we got just a pinky, um, you know, just I love that obviously color scheme of the New York Mets, Subway series. Um, and uh, yeah, pinky, this one's dope too. This one uh, based NBA crossover. So based on the current um, Minnesota Timberwolves, this is really cool. Obviously like the way that the twins logos, different colors. Um, and then even like, I love the skyline in Minnesota. Uh, back there on the patch this is amazing so minnesota kind of reminds me of like a kg or something like that or like current maybe like a car anthony towns or something like that then we got a real throwback hat uh it's from that all-star decades pack as well new york giants so no that is not football it's what the team used to be there um and then they moved to san francisco so yeah i got that only one i have of this no batterman of course and then 19 
34 All-Star games. So Baltimore Orioles, same pack I was telling you about. So no Batterman. Uh, I love this logo, by the way. I only have one of these, but really cool. One of my favorite hats. I haven't worn them in a while because I used to wear it so much when I got it. Uh, from the original Ox Packs, from Chronic, Dr. Dre's album, obviously, back in the early, early, early 2000s, I believe. Um, this hat is ridiculous. Oh my God. Like, look at this. Like, just the way the LA logo is and the attention to detail on the Dodger Stadium, uh, I believe, 50th anniversary patch. That is crazy. Um, if you love hip hop and you love Dr. Dre, like, back to even NWA and stuff, like, this goes crazy. It's like, one of the greatest hip hop albums of all time. So like, it's very simple and clean, but you know, like I think every time I wore this, somebody has been like, oh, um, well, shit, is that chronic or something like that? Well, yeah, exactly. Then we have a really cool hat. Actually, this is based on Friday Night Lights pretty much, but, and, it, and specifically the team out there in Odessa, Texas, I think it was inspired by a guy who lived there. So as well, so this one's really cool as well. It's got that kind of like metallic rim, uh, which is super cool. Like the material is totally different. Um, which they don't do too much. And uh, yeah, Texas Rangers, I love this 95 patch. It's really, really cool. And we've got a hat I really love as well. Um, I'm a huge Kid Cudi fan, uh, Man on the Moon. Uh, if you guys remember Day and Night, Pursuit of Happiness, um, so many of them. And Cudi, hopefully continues to, he continues to make music. Sounds like he might be near the end here. I remember hearing him on Hot Ones talking and stuff, but this one's fantastic from the original one. I believe he's from Cleveland, so it makes sense. He's got that Cleveland, I think, I think it was Indians at the time. And then that um, All-Star Game patch from 2019. Still remember when I was watching All-Star Game, we were actually in San Francisco. Uh, we were watching mm -hmm. the Home Run Derby. Um, and yeah, it was the, it's the, well, if you guys know Cleveland is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It has it there, so that's why it's got the guitar. So we got a really cool, just nice icy for my hometown Jays. Uh, the Big Bird logo, um, obviously from the 2000s. Uh, really nice, just very simple. This one, uh, Louis V's, if you guys like Louis V's, they recently brought them back, a bunch of packs of them. Uh, this is the Giants one, so yeah, World Series 2010, back in my heyday. A pack that I thought was a little bit slept on, I feel like some of the, some of the hats were a little shit, but some of them were really nice, like this one, which I've never seen use this logo, is the Big Easy pack, uh, based on the city of New Orleans. Um, I like it, it's really cool, I love this kind of khaki color, it's very nice. Um, you've got the Metrodome patch, which I don't have, uh, which is really nice, and just like the different colors and stuff, I like it. Very, very cool. Underrated pack. Then we got um, NFL retro script, Houston Oilers, um, defunct team, of course. Now the um, Tennessee Titans. So love the love this baby blue. It's it's super nice. Love it around the the outline of the Oilers and stuff. And uh, yeah, it reminds me of Warren Moon. Another Louis V. This is the Oakland A's. I think it's my last one I have. Um, and it's got Battle of the Bay patch. One of my it's probably my favorite patch ever. Uh, just because you know I love I love the Bay Area and. Uh, very cool, like Battle of the Bay, Oakland versus San Francisco, the American League versus the National League. So and then we got Retro Script again, my New England Patriots. Uh, very nice as well, just very simple. Very nice, wore this once at Gillette this year. It's part of their script, Jersey Script collection. Jays, can't wait to wear this to the ballpark this, this upcoming season. Uh, it's very nice, uh, based on the 2000s. Once again, I got that same patch we were talking about before. Uh, very nice, very slept on collection. I think a lot of them some of them sold out, some of them didn't, but uh, this one was very nice. Kind of reminds me of Roy Holiday. Oh, there is, sorry, there's another Louis V, San Diego Padres. This one's nice as well. Uh, 2016 All-Star Game, I think. Um, fond memories of that All-Star Game. Uh, shout out to Ben Shaka Brody, of course. Uh, you're the GOAT, obviously. Um, helped me secure uh, an invoice in a uh, recent hat. But uh, he got his own collection, finally. He was hyping it up for a while. Based on the game Punch-Out, if you played the NES, um, uh, early on, I love Punch Out, Little Mac. I, I had to get the Little Mac one. I was trying to search. I was like, I want to make sure I got the right one. I figured this was Little Mac. Um, this one's fantastic. This is awesome. You play Smash Bros. You know Little Mac is. Of course. Does it look like it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks cool. That green. I love it. That kind of green he wears. It's super cool. I even love like the pink. Because I know sometimes he wears pink, I think. so. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. I love it. Montreal Expos, of course. And then I got a Glow in the Dark Patriots hat. Uh, it's pretty simple. Just that, that Super Bowl, I want to say, 39. And then uh, Grape Jelly, uh, this is Houston Astros, uh, one of the really cool logos. Can't remember where it's from, uh, but they got the 35 Great Year patch, which is really nice. Based on Grape Jelly, so who doesn't love that? Ooh, Lavender, ooh, very, very, <laughs> very nice, love Lavender. And then some of the last few here, these are recent pickups. Ox Pack Vinyl, uh, it's based on like obviously a vinyl, the material is like wax, um, it's got metal tips here, based on like almost like a vinyl. Uh, this is really cool. I don't, remember, I don't know what this is based on though, Really don't remember. Um, it's nothing that like I'm a huge fan of, uh, but I love the Mets colors. I love the '86 World Series patch. I don't even have it. I just love that like 
orange and red like or not orange more of like a yellow and a red i like i like the combination it's nice um lost nba crossover hat uh between the wizards uh my favorite player in the nba all time has always been john wall so uh he did play with these colors early on i just love it obviously with the capitol building on the patch uh it is beautiful um and yeah very very simple uh logo i want to have the full set uh, this is one I hit on the restock on the way, so that's like the off-way crown. I still need the OG, so. Crossover, college crossover. Uh, shout out to uh, University of Missouri, the, the Mizzou Tigers. Um, it's got St. Louis Cardinals logo. It's all that bird that just kind of just standing up with his ass out, which is pretty funny. <laughs> um, and then uh, that 120, uh, what? One, uh, 125th anniversary, I think, so it's pretty cool. All right, so we got like, kind of like those like navy-ish crowns here next. Like it's part of that also decades back once again, uh, California Angels, I think at the time. Uh, very nice, very nice two-tone, very clean hat. Same pack once again, uh, 1977 All-Star Game patch. I love it with the big apple obviously there, it's pretty cool. Uh, very nice, just simple Yankees hat, very nice. A very simple uh, Houston Astros hat, uh, 20th year anniversary. I got this for like a wicked deal from a friend, so you bought the wrong size, so. Um, this one's really nice. I've only seen this once by Hack Club, Frostbite Collection. Um, it's kind of this like navy crown, got that kind of frosty look to it. Love that big patch. Then we got another one of that All-Star Decades pack, uh, the St. Louis Cardinals. Don't really see this navy kind of look with this, these colors this way very often, um, but this one uh, 19, from 1957, so the little Cardinal there. We always love the Cardinals here. Uh, very cool collection, uh, All-Star Decades. So pretty much uh, from the team, it shows all the All-Star games they've hosted. Uh, all over the hat so yeah and this includes the band all-star game which never happened they had to relocate it um so this is you don't really see this logo too often um it's really cool also because it's got the you see the inner lining it's got all-star game there as well uh so which was a really cool thing and it's it is satin as well a similar one this is like icons pack so it's from the city of new york so you see kind of like the the hot dog stand you got the yankee stadium you got the big apple you got the brooklyn bridge the Empire State, of course. And then, I don't know what the fuck this is. Like, I like is this Air Canada? It looks like the Air Canada. Oh, I God. swear, it looks like Air Canada. Hey, man, like New York isn't Canadian. What the hell are you talking about? Maybe it's like, what, it's because it's cold or something? What the fuck is that? I don't know. Someone, I found that kind of, Someone I, let him know in the comments. It's from New York. Yeah, please, please let me know. <laughs> um, and then this is a really cool Phillies logo uh, from that Cyberpunk collection I was talking about earlier. Uh, very nice. Just very cool colors. Very out there, cyberpunky. Another really cool hat um, from that uh, Negro League crossover, like I was talking about before. Um, really cool. It's got this like navy, navy upper, obviously with the LA in the red, and then this patch I've never seen before. Jackie Robinson, 50th anniversary, had to get it. It's amazing. Another one from the Ox Pack, doggy style, Snoop Dogg. Uh, this one's crazy. Uh, caught this on the restock earlier this year. Very nice. Snoop Dogg, D-O-double-G, -G. let's go. Then we got a nice pinky, just regular pinky, and I'm Angels. It's kind of like that Disney logo that they call, they call it, but it's got like 40th anniversary pinky. A, a favorite of mine from this year, uh, college crossover. Uh, this is the UCLA version, very nice, two-tone. You can tell it's all UCLA. I love that patch with the palm trees. Crazy, shout out to UCLA, even got the shoes. Reminds me of Carmelo and AI. Uh, this is uh, the Rockies crossover, uh, very nice. I remember how Sawed off of his hat was many years ago. And when they recently restocked it, nobody gave a fuck. So it's kind of kind of crazy how times change, styles change, hype and stuff. And I ain't about the hype, but the hat looks really good to me. I like the story and inspiration. That's all that matters. And we got the infamous beer pack. Never, I took an L on the original one. I was able to get a couple things on the restock. This one is Bush. I'm not a big Bush guy in terms of drinking it, but uh, it's a beautiful hat. Um, the, the, the beer pack, like, uh, Bush always looks really good and I love the beer pack, one of my favorite ones they've done. Quickly here, we got a nice, very nice two-tone for my Patriots and it's a pinky, of course. Really like what they did with this. And this is a nice icy Milwaukee Brewers, a logo that happens sometimes. Very nice. Which I'm calling this an Auburn Tigers crossover with Atlanta because they don't have an MLB team in Alabama. Um, this is what it reminds me of. Reminds me of Cam Newton, uh, Trey Mason, guys like that. Um, you know, some great players obviously play for Auburn over the years. I love this hat. Very, very underrated, I think. Okay, so now we got like the off-white, you know, stone, um, white crowns. First off, burger pack, in and out one of my favorite hats. Uh, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. in and out You never ate in and out yet, right? Nope. No. I am vegetarian. Yeah, I know you're vegetarian, <laughs> but you can still eat some fries there. True, they're still, true, they're still true. pretty good. Yeah. Burger's amazing. 
Um, yeah, this is an amazing hat. Literally LA. Uh, I think I wore it in LA too. I think on purpose. I know. I actually know. I brought this to in and out the last time I went. So. It reminds me of McDonald's a little bit. Does it? Right. Yeah. But no, it's had more yellow than yeah. But yeah, this is like maybe classic it's... McDonald's, maybe a little bit, maybe, but no, yeah. but it's more yellow. McDonald's. Yeah, it's more in and out though. Yeah. 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 Box back 2.0. Uh, I can't remember what uh, group this is based on, but I know it's a group. It's on a solo artist. Uh, I just love this hat. It's this white crown. Um, it's got like burgundy as well, and like they kind of use different shades in the patch for Shea Stadium. So uh, this one is crazy. One of the only ones I've really seen uh, from that Negro League crossover as well. Uh, this is based on Jackie Robinson's team. I think the Monarchs. Um, this looks really cool with the pinstripes. How do you feel about the pinstripes? I think it looks like nice and very vintage looking. It's cool. Well, something that mm -hmm. was done in like the 1930s. Before, yeah. Right? So yeah, uh, very cool. I love the patch as well. Very similar to how Coffin Sick. looks. Yeah. So for y'all ganja lovers, if you love uh, marijuana, 420 pack, uh, this was really cool. Really like this one uh, with this Phillies logo. I've been waiting for a nice one with this. Uh, this was the perfect one. And uh, yeah, really nice veteran stadium patch. Shout out to uh, 420. One of my favorite places in the world, Ocean Drive, a collection that uh, was so underrated that they didn't really sell out like crazy. And then after the release, everybody see them in hand, scooped them all off the site. So I had the uh, Florida Marlins one, I got it right away. Ocean Drive, you ever been to Miami? You know, these colors. It's pretty, pretty uh, indicative of what it is. This is the 75th anniversary White Dome collection for the NFL. I got the Browns and the Bears. Um, these are really cool as well. People have been asking for these to restock. They haven't yet. Uh, these are very clean. Uh, we got a couple monocle hats from their collection. Very good materials are used on these. They upcharge a little more though, um, but these are very nice as well. Two Diamondbacks, uh, very cool patches and stuff. Love the materials, like I said, that were used. They're very different. I uh, even got satin UVs as well. These are very cool as well. Just kind of Monaco-esque. And then a really just very simple off-white uh, Dodgers hat, uh, 88 World Series. So this is a collection I got a lot of hate. Um, Dogtown, I think. So Dogtown is pretty much where Santa Monica Pier is. You know where that is. Mm -hmm. um, and it's based on that area between there and Venice. It's called Dogtown because of skate, skating and all that and surfing. So yeah, uh, I mean, I don't love this collection. It's very out there. It reminds me of like Nickelodeon or something like that. <laughs> Um, but these are the colors of down there, and I was like, hey, I gotta get it. It's one of my favorite places. Got the Astros prototype logo, so it's very, very, very cool. Usually, you know, you would not be able to get something like this. White Dome collection, very cool. Uh, reminds me of my high school colors. Uh, Battle of the Bay Patch, uh, very nice. Very just nice logo. I think it's batting practice. Jay's retro script, very nice. Got a lot of comments about these at Jay's games. Very nice. And then here's a Mitchell and Ness hat, Vancouver Grizzlies, very cool. Uh, inaugural season, so very nice. This is college crossover with the NFL. Uh, this is the Washington Huskies uh, out there in Tacoma, Washington. Uh, I would love to be over there one day. It's so beautiful. Um, and then obviously the 10th anniversary patch. Uh, this one is the Rose Gold Pack, one of the colorways. Uh, this is very cool. Washington Nationals. I love the way they use the pink and the Rose Gold on the Capitol building. Uh, very nice hat. This one's very cool with the sunglasses. Uh, this is based, this is the Tropics collection. It's kind of based on like Jacksonville Jaguars old colors. Um, or at least one of the, like the, the, that teal that they still have it, I guess, but very cool hat. I like it. And then uh, the other one from that, uh, Madison Muskies. Uh, shout out to uh, Madison, Wisconsin, when they used to have a team that had little alligators. <laughs> from here. I was taking them all out. <laughs> yeah, um, San Diego Padres, a logo that I see recently on Stone Domes. Uh, I never seen this logo before. It's so cool, though. I love Cali and San Diego as well. Very, very nice hat. This is, uh, I think, pinstripe pack or something, or pastime pack. Uh, this is, I, I just I like it. the stripes. Yeah. I find that really cool. Yeah, it's like indicative of their jerseys, right? So mm -hmm. uh, it looks very cool. Never seen anything like this. Had to pick it up. It's unique. Um, this one, very classic. Um, you know, just Montreal Expos, their pinwheel kind of logo where they use red and like navy and then white and everything. So same thing almost for the Jays as well. Just a classic hat I've always, I've always loved. Um, it's got the All-Star Game logo, so I had to get that. And then uh, if you like horror movies, the horror pack based on Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Leatherface uh, gives me the heebie-jeebies, but the hat's pretty fucking cool. Uh, <laughs> I love that. I love that like kind of burnt orange with it. You ever watch any of those movies or no? Nope. No. I will not. <laughs> you, know, uh, you don't like when they when he uh, takes off somebody's face and puts it on his own? Um, no, I'm not, not a fan. Not a, no. not the a crazy fan. thing, that was a true story, a part of it. Like, oh, gross. Another Stone Dome, obviously the little red man. I don't know what he's actually called again, but I love this patch, the big red machine. Kind of waited for the right release to get this. So yeah, I love this, love this hat. And then uh, this like chrome stone, I think it is. It's like just the NFL pack 
uh, like different shades of gray and white, which I really like as well. Ox Pack, uh, Be Called Dropout, Kanye. Oh my God, one of my favorite albums of all time. This is just a beautiful app, just beautiful. Oh my God. Anybody loves that album? It's crazy. My favorite song off there is Family Business. It's a guy of people don't really like um, uh, say that's the favorite off, like Through the Wire and stuff is crazy and all that, but thought I would share. Uh, this is like a chocolate type of pack. Kind of reminds me of that Kit Kat um, with the red, obviously. Mm. Um, so this is a very, very nice hat. Spumoni pack, based on Spumoni ice cream. Um, shout out to all of us Italians. Uh, mm. These are very cool, pink UV. Waiting for a restock of this, probably will happen again, but I would like to pick up maybe the Brooklyn Dodgers. This one's cool as well. Uh, this is uh, this is the Great Outdoors Parks Collection. Uh, this one's based on the Redwood National Park um, out there in, I think it's just outside of Oakland. We, you remember we went, right? The yeah. Big red trees is what it's based off of, so. Oh, sir. Uh, very cool, so yeah. Kind of see it a little bit in there. Huge trees, by the way, holy shit. RIP to the Coked Out Tiger, one of my favorite logos. Couldn't really get it, it was so hard. Thank God I got this one from Ben's pack. I don't remember what, what character this is based on, but um, I do love the hat. I, mean, I had to make sure I had the logo and it's very nice. I love like the navy and the brown contrast. I think this is based on Cheerios from the Zero Pack recently. Is it? Does it look like Cheerios? Yeah. Kinda. I think it does, yeah. ASG All-Star game. A little bit. Cleveland Indians, whatever you want to call it. Uh, very, very nice hat. This one is based on Cracker Jacks. Um, shout out Yode City. Um, did the collab ballpark snacks swing in the bat love this one i love that color it's crazy and then actually if you didn't notice from it if you didn't notice actually it's like a royal blue uv i just love the contrast oh. i just love the contrast of the colors recent collection turkey bowl uh i didn't really like the collection too well but i really like this hat uh the jays one it looked really nice to me um could wear this at jays games very thanksgiving-esque hat isn't it doesn't it like, it does very, <laughs> very cool i don't even know what that is this is like I don't even know what the color that is. That Parks pack, like I said, this one is based on Death Valley uh, out there in California. Hottest area in North America. Um, this one is really cool. They used the, the new patch, uh, the 60th anniversary patch. I love how they utilize the different colors on the numbers. And then this is the Asian Egypt collection. Very cool color. Kind of reminds you of Cleopatra, King Tut. You know, I don't know, I just, I just like it, it's cool. I was big into uh, mythology as a kid and stuff and that ancient times and stuff. You like candy, candy pack. This is, I always get confused. Twix, this is Twix, not Trix. That's Twix. So this is Twix. So it's such a good candy, chocolate bar, obviously. Uh, I love the glitter that they use on it. I think it is amazing. And as a Chase fan, I do wear this more than the usual hat. So this one is crazy. I think the glitter that they use on it, just the artwork, this is a piece of art, honestly, for them to translate from a chocolate bar on this. This is amazing. Hopefully they bring this pack back. Got a nice Raptors hat, uh, just Mitchell and Ness. Then we got the NFL crossover with uh, college, obviously. This is based on Boston College out there in Chestnut Hill. Um, this is very cool. I think this is the Super Bowl 41 patch, I think. Uh, I know it's the, the one we beat to Carolina, um, but very nice. Very indicative of the colors of the school. So, yeah. PB and J. I love this Angels hat. Um, it's awesome. Uh, peanut butter and jam. Obviously, right? <laughs> very nice. The, they only, they the only... A looks like, like the Amazon, like. Why does it look like the Amazon logo? In a way, like, I don't yeah, know yeah. why. Like <laughs> uh, the Angels had it first, though. The Angels had it first. The font of it and everything. It's just yeah. like Amazon. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I know. This is an old logo. I think it's from. I don't know. Maybe before the '90s. I'm not sure. Really cool collection. The Hack Club used to do. They used to do their own custom hockey league. These are not real teams. Uh, this is the Toronto team, though, as you can see with the little moose and stuff, and like the RCMP uh, Mountie hat. Thought this was really cool. Very funny hat. Sandstorm collection, uh, the only pre-order I was able to ever um, participate with. Uh, very cool, pink UVs. Kind of reminds you of a Sandstorm. Uh, these are fantastic hats. Uh, very nice, Very especially as LA. Ooh, very, very cool. Recently from the Sugar Shack 2.0, which is very um, very similar to um, the hat, which I should never have passed on. It was the fitted female, the female. Uh, it was pretty much the, uh, the women who were actually able to uh, design hats and our Canadian one, uh, Potato, I think her name is, she's out of Montreal. She did, a, uh, I believe, um, it was a Jay's one that kind of looked almost exactly like this. So Fuji hat based on Mount Fuji in Japan. Uh, this is very nice. Obviously that gray and stuff and just based on obviously that, that beautiful mountain out there on the other side of the world. So yeah, I want to go to Japan someday too. Coors Light beer pack based on the awesome beer. Very cool. Love it. I just I, did love, I love the way they did the rock uh, the call the Rockies out there in that color very nice very addictive of the beer and then this is a really cool pack I think it's like it's based on like what they were wearing on their jerseys at the time of the game seven World Series game seven I think but on the road 
Um, very cool. I love this gray. It is so cool. It almost looks knit, but it's not. Um, very nice Brooklyn Dodgers um, and the Brooklyn Bridge on that patch. Amazing hat. And then this is part of that rose gold hat uh, collection. Um, you got this like stone gray. And then you got these peachy, peachy hints. Very nice. And you got this like re recent like mint collection uh, with the NFL teams. Very cool. I thought with the Arizona Cardinals. Very nice. Very minty. So green hats, some green eggs and ham uh, from the recent drop. Never got the original. Uh, these are super nice. You know, you ever eat green eggs now? Nope. No. <laughs> Shout out to Dr. Seuss though. These are dope. Love these. Um, and there's one more here. Very nice. I think like, I love this forest green, I think because uh, it was one of my high school colors. So I think um, it always kind of brings me back to that. But yeah, no, it's just so clean. Oh my God, with that pink. Yeah, UV. one of my favorite colors. Oh yeah, I think I just love, I don't know, I just love pink. I don't know why. I think it just goes so well with colors. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. And But it's bright though, it makes no sense. But this one's really cool. Oh my God, one of my favorite collections. Based on the lavender mm. fields in Oregon. Um, like, look at that. Look at the way the forest green and the lavender, uh, like, mesh together. So nice. I want the Jays one from this collection so bad. I know it's restocking this week, I think, so I'm going to try. Um, but, oh my god. Like, uh, the way they complement each other, the colors, stupid. Like, just stupid to get a hat. This is amazing hat. Oh my god. One of your favorites? Hot. Well, I think it's up there. I think it's top five, <laughs> I think, yeah. So nice. Based on a horror movie, I don't remember what it is. Um, I want to say rut. I don't know. Fucking, I don't really want to say it. But no, it's so nice. I love this color. I don't know what this color is. It's like a shade of like it's gray like a, and a dark teal. Almost. But it's also gray though in a way. Yeah, it's, very, it's like I don't know. It reminds me of like a dark teal or something. Very cool. Though. Nice. Really like it. Yeah. Very cool hat. Seattle Mariners. Uh, this is cactus fruit collection. I thought this was so cool. I don't know why. Oh. I don't know why. I just love the way that green kind of contrasts with the orange. I love the the greeting effect. On the Tampa logo. And I like the 45, so I wanted to try the Colt 45, so I was able to get it, surprisingly. So yeah, these are really nice hats. Masters collaboration. Uh, love this one. Uh, one of my favorite hats. I couldn't believe it. I remember we were in we were in Hawaii, and I was on my phone, I think it was before, I think it was, it was a two o'clock drop here in, uh, in the Eastern time zone. We were six hours back, so it must have been in the morning. And I remember we were about to leave for the day and I was like, wait, I gotta fucking try and buy this hat. <laughs> so I bought it. So yeah, I was, oh my God, so happy about this. This is an amazing hat. I love golf and stuff. So uh, that brings that back as well. Just amazing. This is like a Gatorade pack for NFL. This is really cool, Chicago Bears. Uh, the, I think it might be the only Super Bowl they ever won. I'm not sure. Uh, the 85 Bears. Uh, this is very nice. One is cool, Jersey script, very nice. Uh, Oakland Athletics. I love these colors. Again, like it's weird because my high school used to use this type of green and the forest green. So they both remind me, both shades. So I think they're totally different, but uh, sometimes we wear them on our baseball jerseys like that, our football jerseys, then we switch it up. Then different hats would have it. It was, it was weird. So, and this one as well, this is based on like crocodile. Um, kind of reminds me of like Alligator Alley. So I had to get the Tampa one because we used to go to Florida a lot as a kids and it was, it was always in the Tampa area. Uh, we had a place. So yeah, um, I thought this was very cool. I don't even know what this color is, but it's fucking amazing. Pale yellow. Yeah, it's different. You don't really see it. Too very pale yellow. Mm. And then another one like high school-ish, but this is NHL crossover. One of my only ones from that collection. Um, this is Minnesota No Stars um, crossover with, so uh, very cool. Very cool hat. Aloha pack, pretty much uh, Aloha, you know what I mean? Shout out to anybody in Hawaii watching. Um, you got kind of that old Oakland Raiders logo. I love the way they they use different colors, obviously, of the Pro Bowl, the All-Star Game. And then look at that, obviously. So nice on the back. Very cool. Very cool touch. Didn't even know until after I bought it, but yeah. This is Super Bloom collection. How do you feel about the, the flowers on the back? I love it. Oh, my yeah, God. Very cool. <laughs> I'm yeah. a sucker for that I stuff. I know. People were saying it was trash. I was like, okay, hey, not the best hat I've ever seen, but I thought it was kind of cool to have. So. I like the flowers. Yeah. San Diego. Very cool. Super Bloom. Pink Martini. Do you like I love pink that. Martini? Yeah. Very cool. Pink again. Uh, with the Big J's logo as well. Needed one of these when they restocked it. Uh, love Olive. Olive is a great shade. Um, Olive green, yeah. Such a nice color. Very nice. This is from the Ox Pack as well. Can't remember which artist from New York um, holds this inspiration, but very nice. Once again, Olive Green. Um, it's got a great UV. More simple. I love this shade of red or burgundy. I don't even know what it is, but um, very pleasing to the eye. Green Icy, uh, Houston Astros. Love the way they utilize the inaugural season patch at the new ballpark with that iciness. And then Boston Red Sox, once again, green icy, that patch, icy, love love that forest green. And then if you guys like corduroy, my first corduroy hat, 
Um, Houston Astros, 86. Very nice corduroy material. It's kind of crazy. Very comfortable. I love corduroy. Very comfortable. You wouldn't think of it on a hat, but... It's... No, no, never. No, very nice. I love it. And Toscano, Italy pack. Very cool. Two-tone. Minnesota Twins. Very nice. Very underrated. All right, so we got the blue hats. So many different shades. It's based on the Minneapolis Lakers. Uh, back, like, along their, those colors. I love... The, you got like blue, like dark blue, and then you got baby blue. That contrast, especially on the patch, you wouldn't think that would work, but it does. So this one's very nice, very popular Texas two-tone. I don't know how the hell I hit on this. I just happened to, uh, very nice. Uh, it's the regular colors and stuff, but just uh, very cool the way with the, the contrast. Gum pack, my only one from it. This is based on, I believe, I wanna say the Wrigley gum. Um, very cool. Um, we got the Wrigley Field patch as well, which is kind of funny. Um, just very nice, kind of the gum, right? So, All Star Decades pack I was telling you about. Um, another band patch on the side right here. Uh, 2020 All Star game. So um, that's the one that never happened due to COVID, but it just recently happened in 2022. So I uh, remember the icons pack before. The, the last one, this is the one based on LA. Kind of think of the goes like low rider cars, palm trees. Don't know what the fuck that is. Los Angeles with the script writing like you think of Crenshaw, Dodger Stadium. And obviously Pasadena with the roses, you'd think. So this one's very, very nice hat as well. Very cool um, out there. Really a cool. lot of people think it doesn't work, but it does. So. Based on the movie Space Jam, of course, uh, Interstellar Jelly Pack. Um, very nice. Um, one of my favorite logos. Um, the, so the Skyline of New York, um, New York Mets. Very interesting patch. Don't know what the hell that is, but it's nice. I feel like an NBA version of this. I got the Lakers. It's got the Hollywood Walk of Fame kind of logo there, so uh, kind of cool. NFL crossover, Seattle um, Seahawks, very cool. Um, it's got kind of like the trident, you think of Percy Jackson, right? Oh, the yeah. The Great Gods, right, don't you think of that? Yeah, cool. very, very cool, eh? Uh, never seen them use this logo since, but I love the metallicness of it, the glitter, um, very, um, very nice touches. We got from that Negro League collection, uh, very nice. It's uh, based on the team in St. Louis, I think the Stars. We got based, I had to get my Pats one for the NFL crossover as well. Uh, we got, it's pretty much the throwback. They never did the actual, um, the actual colors that we have, but the throwback's really nice with the big all-star patch uh, from 99. So this one's amazing. Still haven't worn to a Pats game yet. I don't know why, but we got, uh, what do you, which candy do you think this is based on? Chocolate bar. Oh shit. I'm trying to remember. Crunch. Oh, yes. Yeah. So yeah, very cool. Very cool. I love how they put like kind of the chocolate brown in yes. there. Yes. Very cool. Yeah. This is a nice hat. Uh, this is based on the Raptors and the Blue Jays, which is kind of interesting. What? Uh, yeah, it's kind of weird, but kind of cool at the same time. So this one's really cool. How we wore when I went to go see Joseph Quinn at Fan Expo. Um, this is based on Minnesota Twim Timberwolves once again. Uh, just one of their different, like reminds me more of the Kevin Garnett era. Uh, very nice hat. Very nice two tool. Uh, this is a regular Jays hat, uh, 10th anniversary 86, but it's a satin inner lining. So comfortable. Oh my God. Had to get it just to try it. And I was like, oh my God, I like, feel that, feel that. Like, Looks sick. Oh my God, yeah. Amazing hat. Never so. seen that before. <laughs> oh, I know, so I'll be comfortable with the Jays games when it's hot outside. So. Made outdoors pack. Everybody's waiting for this to come back. Everybody's seeing, yeah, it's shit when it came out. And then now they all want it now. So <laughs> it's got that kind of mud olive or maybe mud on the end. I don't really know. I love this Cubbies logo, this nice little baby cub. Then you got Century of Cubs there. They don't really use that patch often. This is very nice. Well, you wouldn't really think olive and baby blue work too well. No, never. <laughs> but they do. You would think with more with an olive, you think red, right? So yeah, this works really well. Based on the Pacific Northwest, so uh, Washington State and Oregon, pretty much. Shout out to Drizzy Drake. Obviously, uh, this is based on "Nothing Was the Same." Uh, if you guys remember that album, probably my favorite song from it. Is it controversial? Pound Cake, the Jay Z. I don't know. Just love the way that uh, that that that's track goes. Um, but it's based on that album, Ox Pack. Um, one of the OGs. Based on the cereal, Cookie Crisp. They didn't bring this one back, actually. Uh, very nice. Uh, I was actually running out of a rainstorm at a tennis match with his hat on. I didn't spray it. It's okay, it's okay though. I made it. Iceberg pack. Very cool. Feels very iced out. Uh, those lavender hints on the skyline of Seattle. Oh my God. Like, they're so nice. Um, very, very aesthetically pleasing. Shut off hands of the San Diego Chargers, but now the LA Chargers. Shouldn't have left San Diego. I feel so bad for you guys. Um, but LaDainian Tomlinson, I played running back and played football early on in my life. So um, I love the position and I used to always try and replicate LT's uh, jump cut. And I love those baby blue powder jerseys that he, they used to wear. Um, had to get this one NFL crossover with the palm trees. It just screams 
San Diego Chargers from the 2000s. So this one's really nice. This one's based on like this area of a lighthouse parks collection again. Can't remember what it is, but I love the two-tone with the baby blue macaque. Uh, looks fantastic. It's based on, yeah, it's in, um, it's near Long Island or it's in New York state somewhere. Then we got cotton candy pack. Very nice. Kind of reminds you of cotton candy. Mm -hmm. uh, that really fucks up my teeth whenever I eat that. Uh, <laughs> I never eat cotton candy. It's I eat it like, like maybe once or twice in my life, yeah. I know. It's, it's whatever. Just, like it's, it's yeah, too it's, sugary. Yeah. It's more for the. It's experience. nice to look at. <laughs> yeah, aesthetically yeah, pleasing. Nice on the hat as well. That pink and baby blue. Pink. Those baby. The baby blue and baby pink. Pink. Oh my god, I love it. Yeah, I know. And then we got Daybreakers uh, collection. Never came back. Uh, it's kind of just based on sunsets. Um, this one's based. This is got the Ichiro patch for Seattle. We got that type of blue sunset with the yellow and orange that we get sometimes. This one's very nice. I'll start with the one off my head. Oh, my hair looks disgusting. Um, this one's really cool jersey script um, that they did uh, I struck out on the first one they did but the second one very nice love the glitter um, Love that blue and I don't know it's more like a purple and like a teal so and then we got uh, one of my favorite hats One of the ones I was so excited to finally get uh, the Raptors crossover for the NBA uh, Very cool. It's like uh, that throwback kind of vibe and stuff so which is really very nice 1992 world series and we got kind of a collection based on our city here in toronto um couldn't believe that they actually did this um a t-dot collection it was really cool it came with like a raptor pin and stuff like that um very cool i love the lavender hints inside this patch it's pretty crazy a really cool team uv hat um it's like that tampa bay devil ray kind of logo obviously of the stingray then you got kind of inaugural season love the fading of the colors and look at that really bright green um, UV. Very cool. Phoenix Firebirds based on the Grand Canyon uh, out there in Arizona. Um, this one is on that Parks collection as well. Love the faded colors um, in between. Meyer League fitted as well. Came with a cool patch too. So we got a nice like just regular team hat uh, from the past. 20th anniversary. Love the little glitter of there. Just very simple hat. Sugar Shack. It's like the lavender colorway. Yankees. 75 World Series. Pink UV, very cool, a very simple hat, nice shade. We got Taco Bell, um, never ate Taco Bell actually, surprisingly in my life. Uh, just, I don't, it's been around sometimes, there's not one really near my house ever, but the time, the times where I, like, I might be more inclined to go to grab fast food, I, re I just pick something else usually, so. Yeah, this one, very cool, 2020 World Series, COVID year. This one's cool, Daybreakers, once again, Sunset. This is like the purple pinkish sunset, which is very nice, uh, I love what they did with this. For the teals, uh, this is the Copperhead collection, top 30s pretty much. Um, love this collection. Cannot believe I, I actually got this one, uh, the OG, which I love so damn much. I love the, the, the colors, the glitter, everything they did with this hat. This one's a very cool hat, just a pinky. I want to collect all the Hawaii Pro Bowl ones, but this one I had to get the, the Volcano one. Uh, very cool. I, I hate Miami, obviously, the Dolphins, because I'm a Pats fan, but I do love their logos, their colors. Really nice. I do respect them. They have a Hopefully we beat them this weekend in football, so to get the playoff spot. So we got Cyclone Collection, um, which is based on I think I don't I don't know I don't know what's, I don't know exactly. It kind of reminds me of South Beach in a way. Miami Marlins. They don't really drop this logo too often. Uh, 2017 All Star Game. John Carlos Stanton I believe won that. Um, and a royal blue to kind of contrast with that. Very cool hat. Uh, Badlands Collection was in love too much, but I do like this with the Astros. Um, do not have much Astro stuff, but because they're very popular. Kind of reminds me like Mad, kind of reminds me like Mad Max. This one, uh, top 30s once again. Uh, this is one of the new ones, which is 2003 All-Star Game. I love like kind of the, uh, I don't know. I just love like the background of this patch, 2003 All-Star Game, just crazy. White socks, wish I had more. I just never inclined to get them. I don't know why. Pinky, one of my favorite, uh, kind of reminds me of when LeBron wore the self beaches. My favorite shoe of all time. Uh, the eight, um, after making a decision to go to Miami. Um, he wore this hat, this two-tone regular team hat. Love this one, I think. And then uh, this one's really cool. The late, One of the latest iterations of the Ox Pack, the Frank Ocean one. Uh, Swim Good, probably my favorite song from him. Um, you know, I love Nova Kane as well, but I had to get this one. This one's awesome. Swim Good, such an awesome song, so I love it. And then uh, Sugar Shack, uh, defunct um, actual side patch, which is a sombrero logo. Um, I believe it's discontinued now, so it's my only one. So hopefully... I Hopefully I get lucky and get a random one before it, all the hats that were ordered are done. This is another Sugar Shack once again. This is more like a taffy blue. Um, White Sox, Comiskey Park. Uh, love this kind of shade and, and to be able to use that greenish one as well. 
collection never surprisingly came back yet. I think it's mint conditions. Very cool. It kind of got that goldish in there with the teal. Um, very nice collection, two tone. All right, so from the reddish hats, uh, we got red velvet, a uh, very nice Valentine's Day type hat. I uh, love like the, the dark red with the pink hints and white, very nice. Uh, Angels logo, that's, that's the state of California in there as well. They don't use it too often. Do really like it. Had to get my J's of course. I just love like the red velvet, like even like the cake and stuff. It's fantastic. Uh, I had to get the J's one. Oh my God. Come on, I love this, I love this hat, it's so nice. College crossovers, Arizona State University. Uh, this one's crazy as well. Just I love the, I love the the two tone aspect of it. That yellow, obviously in the maroon, and some glitter effect. This hat is a piece of art. Amazing hat, love it. Shout out to everybody out there in Tempe. Only other NHL crossover I have, uh, kind of based on the, I think I believe the Anaheim Angels around that Mighty Ducks era. Um, it's got burgundy, teal, uh, just very nice hat. Material is very nice on this. Very meshy. Sangria. You like sangria I, love, I actually really like this collection it was really nice uh earlier in the year uh 2016 world series the drought was over uh just very nice two-tone very nice wars in chicago this one bean pack uh which was pretty much a bean pot pack based on ball boston college university uh very nice obviously of the hockey tournaments they have there uh, between like some ivy league schools i think harvard as well umass and all that so this one's very nice as well super underrated hat uh from the college crossover uh, the florida state um crossover from it obviously uh just so nice that you don't uh that kind of deep red um khaki as well and just the way they do the florida the florida logos nuts then you got another one from the ox pack this is 50 cents of course um this one goes freaking stupid mine's a candy shop so damn much um get rich or die trying amazing this is from the horror pack the original i got it from in january um this is based on the joker and it's the joaquin phoenix one uh, very nice. I like what they did with this patch. I don't really see it too often. A little baseball. Love the type of um, things they used on it. This one, oh my god. Actually, this is actually one of my favorite hats as well. NFL crossover. Uh, Washington Redskins. I guess I'm not allowed to say it anymore. Commanders. Uh, very nice. Kind of reminds me of like, almost like McDonald's as well. Uh, but it's really nice. I love the way they, they showed the colors on the Capitol building as well. I know I've said that a million times. Every hat that I have with that but it's crazy hot. I love this one. So I hope people get a chance to get this soon. Badlands collection, one of the other colorways. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, like a deep red, orange, uh, yellow, 2000 patch. Very nice, I like it. Kansas City Royals and the Chiefs uh, crossover. Very nice, I like how they did it. Very reminds me of Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, I love like the yellow and the red. Very McDonald's-y once again. This reminds me of, okay, this is like the beetroot pack. This reminds me of cranberry sauce and stuffing. I don't know why, and I love those things. So I ended up picking this one up. It's very underrated. I like this Texas logo. I love the lavender they use in it. This one's nice, obviously. Uh, I had to get rid of my original J-Tips collection hat just because it was too small. Um, because I, I had like a different size back then. And I realized that that wasn't the way I should have been wearing my hat. So unfortunately, I don't have it anymore. But I do have one of his recent hats from the collection. Um, this is the LA one. I love the contrast with like pink, uh, deep red, like a maroon, and then regular red. Uh, very cool hat. It's got all these patches around there. Um, and then you know all the flowers around the World Series logo. This one based on Hot Wheels. It's Hot Wheels. Very cool. Um, the Pirates logo uh, with uh, their other All-Star game, 1994. This is the High Voltage Pack, uh, which is really cool. They had like stitching colored in red with the Volt as well, which is really cool. I'm surprised they never brought something like this back. Uh, I love what they did with this. Very nice hat. And then Captain Planet, the original. Uh, very nice. Florida Marlins. Um, very beat up hat, wore this a lot, 2003 World Series. We got the Georgia crossover for college, uh, very nice. Hopefully my Buckeyes beat them. Um, I, this might be uploading the day of the game. Hopefully we beat them, happy new year. Spike Lee pack, New York script, very nice hat as well. That two tone is ridiculous, black and red, they go so well together, we all know that. We got the Seattle Mariners, uh, very nice, the red icy. Very cool, that, um, that compass logo. Very nice. This is Trix from the cereal pack. Finally got to scoop this one up. Uh, Toronto Blue Jays, of course. I wear this at games all the time. This one is the 2.0 for the Raptors, um, NBA crossover. This one's really cool. They used the, the BP logo from I think early 2000s. I like the little glitter they put in there as well, which is very nice. Reminds you of the Raptors. This one, shout out once again, OC Ospreys and everybody on their collection. Uh, the only time I've ever seen this logo for the Tampa Rays it's kind of like a turn back the clock logo. I love the patch on this, the way they put the red and the white. Looks amazing. One of my favorite red hats. 
Um, and uh, yeah, shout out to you guys, man. Love this hat. I remember talking to OC about this and I was like, damn, this hat's so nice. And then uh, one of obviously the last Indians hats I could have ever found. Um, this is like just an all red one um, with uh, the golded out World Series patch from 95. So it's Captain Planet 2.0. Didn't love the collection. Did like this one though with the bricks and stuff on Coors Field and the way they incorporate the colors of the Rockies with the, with the on it as well. Um, thought this was a nice hat. One of my favorite hats this year as well. I think I've said that way too much. Um, Mount Rushmore pretty much. Uh, no Ho Natty made this one. Uh, this is crazy. Burned orange, strong man jays, uh, or strong bird. Uh, so nice with the glitter effect. This goes freaking nuts. I love this hat. Just the way, like the the way the colors went together. Stupid. One of my favorite uh, collections that Hat Club's ever done. Uh, the campfires. These are crazy. Need the jays. Rockies was nice for the second. Uh, these hats are so nice. Uh, just that burnt orange. So nice. Screams Thanksgiving, screams fall. Gatorade hat. Um, this one's really cool from Yote City's Ballpark Packs collection. Uh, he used the Olympic Stadium patch, the only one I have from it. Uh, it is so nice. Actually, when I was at Star Wars Celebration LA, I wore this and one of the guys, the security guys was like, oh, yo, you want to trade hats, whatever? I love that. It was like, I was like, nah, man, I'm good, I'm good. He's like, where was it? What is it inspired by? I was like, Gatorade. So yeah, shout out to that guy, whoever you are. Um, that was a that was a that was a fun time in LA last time I was there. So this is based on Honey Nut Cheerios, Astros, uh, very cool. 2017 World Series. Mm, you know I don't know how you feel about that. They cheaters, we know, but uh, they, they they redeemed it this year. They won. So recent Jack O' Lantern pack. It's gold in the dark as well. Uh, it has a new patch. Uh, Welcome to the show uh, from the '95 World Series. I don't know where the hell that came from, but. Uh, it is cool, nonetheless. This one's really cool. I think it's from the Orange Crush pack. I love the the indigo kind of hints in there with the baby blue and like and the dark blue. I think this is a really cool hat. Uh, you really see it on the patch as well. I think uh, this is a really nice collection. Very underrated. Wheaties from the cereal pack. This is the OG one. Um, very nice hat. I love it. Um, I love the the Capitol building back in the 30, 1937 All Star Game. So and then we got the Whataburger um, hat from the Burger Pack. Love this hat. Love the different kind of oranges involved in it, almost like a citrusy orange reminds me of. Or it's in Hawaii, it was really nice. Very happy it didn't fall into the Pacific Ocean, but uh, yeah, very cool. This one's very nice, Daybreakers. The last one, it was the other sunset they did. It's kind of the yellow and the orange one, uh, 10th anniversary, 86. Pink Lemonade for the yellow hats, don't have many, but uh, this is really cool, Battle of the Bay. Taxi, surprised they never brought this collection back, but it's very nice, kind of simple, gray UV, yellow, and I had to get something that was New York because you know the New York taxis are fucking crazy. So that's why I went with this. This one's cool. Rolls Gold. Love this. Love this patch. Uh, anybody, any girl that has an iPhone, they probably like Rolls Gold. Um, I love the way they, they did this with the Montreal Expos and the glitter. Uh, it is actually a stupidly nice hat. I love it. Uh, it's like kind of peachy color. Another one of those J-Tips recent collaborations. This is the, the one that I really liked. It was the baby blue and the, and the pink. Love the way that two-tone works. Um, very nice. Kind of reminds me of cotton candy in a way. Strawberry Jam, a collection that I wanted to come online so bad, uh, which is the strawberry milkshake, really. Um, cannot believe they actually brought this back. I love this hat. Uh, I had to get the Boston one. Very nice. And it's so sad that it sat the way it did. I mean, it's good that you can grab the hats easily, but just sad that people don't really appreciate it as much as they should. But um, amazing hat. Love this pink. Pink is a, has really become a more favorite color of mine. Something that I, as a kid, I probably wouldn't have said, but um just over the years box pack 2.0 life of pablo shout out kanye once again i know all the shit going on with him but um love his music life of pablo is amazing uh, i love the way they use the 1990 all-star game patch there a pack that should come back the heartthrob collection i think it's based on brett the hitman heart shout out to our canadian boy love the way they use this color scheme the the, the two-tone with that pink and black so nice and the glitter obviously as well with the gold and then this is uh sugar sack um this is like this hat where they use this dc logo which is kind of interesting i think it's apricot i think it's based on that it's got different colors um uh, very cool very vibrant hat i like it all right so i got the plain jeans on the bottom so i'm just gonna sit down i got some here so we got the portland i believe oof sea dogs i think very nice two-tone meyer league um very cool hat though i need to brush all these hats next time i wear them but this one's cool uh, this is the fear of God hat. Um, it's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. I just think of like, I just think I'm a hypebeast every time I wear this. It's nice though. I like, it's got the aged, 
uh, thing. It's, it's nice. Classy hat. Looks good. This one's really cool. Gotta wear this in the winter. Oh my god. It's more dusty because it's uh, it's different material. It's the Polar Tech collaboration. Uh, it's got this different material um, just to be resistant to the weather and the snow and stuff. This one's really cool. It's a it's actually a fucked up San Diego Padres hat from the All-Star Decades Pack. They let me keep it. Full refund. Uh, there's two New Era logos. That's kind of funny. That makes no fucking sense, but yeah. Jokes. Uh, OVO hat which is cool, uh, roll blue. And then you got the OG Owl on the back. One of my uh, one of my, my only other Chief Wahoo hats, uh, just a regular home two-tone. Candy Pack, Charlotte Knights, Kit Kat. Very nice hat, love this one. Uh, kind of forgot I had this for a second, but I love that kind of like chocolatey uh, brown uh, UV. Uh, very nice, shout out Charlotte Knights. Um, NBA OVO collaboration, uh, this is the Lakers hat. I got this in store at the time. Um, Lakers is on the back. Kind of cool hat. I haven't worn it yet. A team around San Francisco or somewhere that decided to do um, a special theme night and they did San Bernardino with this really cool logo. Uh, I thought this was really nice. Black Nasty on the on the back. Anybody that shits on Black Nasty, get out of here. This is what they play with. They play with this for 20 years. It's a regular um, San Diego Padres hat. Very nice. I've, I, when they brought back the brown and yellow color scheme, I was really happy about it. Um, didn't think they were gonna revert back to that because I think growing up, I think they were navy blue and yellow, I think. So when they brought brown back, I think it really spiced up their uniforms. Kissing Me Cobras, love this hat. It kind of reminds me of Seattle Su Supersonics in a way. In a way though, not really, but um, it's very cool. Uh, I like it, Kissing Me Florida. Got some family from there. Modesto Athletics, uh, super cool with the elephant holding the bat. Uh, they are a defunct team, I believe. Uh, that used to be obviously affiliate of the Oakland Athletics. Uh, very nice hat. My high school colors, amazing. Ivory collection. It's pretty much just like plain Janes, like based on team colors. Very nice as well. Um, and a very simple collection. It came with like a satin bag as well. So we got a really cool uh, Clearwater Beach Dogs hat. I believe it's a Clearwater Threshers. I believe, and they did like um, like a like a beach night. So they did beach dog logo and stuff. So freaking cool. I love dogs. I have obviously a dog too, so. And they did another one uh, with the Simpsons pack. And I was like, when they did it, I was like, oh shit. I'm like, I gotta get this one. I'm like, it's, it's based on Poochie. RIP Poochie went back to his homeland and he died on the way. So uh, shout out Poochie, obviously. I'm not a big Simpsons guy, but I do know the story. Uh, the fact that they did it on this hat, kind of crazy. So uh, my buddy was like, bro, how do you not get it? I was like, Fuck it, whatever. My only college hat, actual college hat, Stanford Cardinals. Got the nice tree there. Kind of reminds me of if anybody played NCAA football games back in the day, uh, the mascot game where you can play as the little tree that has the trees. It's so funny, but uh, I love this actual two tone. Very nice. It's actually got Cardinal on the back. This one's cool. Charleston Rainbows. Uh, very nice hat. Very cool. Um, very defunct team back in the day. Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, South Carolina or North Carolina? I can't remember. Um, very, very nice hat. It's from the mascot pack. Very cool. It's almost like for like, you know, the Capitol building lawmakers, uh, Washington senators, kind of like almost like a judge, uh, which is pretty cool. So I like that, like a senator, right? The Rolex hat. So this is the 2.0 version, trying to get the 1.0 still. This one's really nice. I still, I still like the, the OG better, um, but this one is really nice with obviously the crown. It does look like a Rolex, which is crazy. That the Royals batting, batting practice logo looks like an actual Rolex, uh, which is fucking nuts and then uh the final hat for today um the crossover that was kind of lost for the nba with orlando uh the orlando magic and this really reminds me of penny hardaway and Shaq. um i love the type of pinstripes they used on it uh very cool um actually a very a favorite of mine in my collection very cool can't believe i hit on it my league hats are hard to get and that gradient effect with orlando rays goes absolutely nuts but yeah that's it for the collection guys uh I don't know how long this video is going to be by the time I edit it though, but it was a ton of hats. Obviously it's way too many, but you know, it's a love for obviously the history and everything. They are fantastic hats. Guys, let me know down below uh, what you thought about the collection. Uh, do you have any similar to mine? You know, do you buy from other hat stores as well? Just let me know down below how your collection is and stuff. How many hats do you have? Let me know. Honestly, you got y'all could count if you want. Honestly, uh, there's gotta be at least hundred. So I'm not sure. Um, but I appreciate y'all for watching as always guys. Um, happy New Year, most likely. This is up before then, so have a great New Year, guys, uh, whenever you guys are watching this. Don't forget, obviously, guys, if you did enjoy the video, just let me know by leaving a like, commenting, subscribing, and turning on that post bell down below as well. You'll be notified when I do my 
fitted and sneaker collection updates but at this time next year uh once again i will do it around that time so stay tuned for that and then i might do some other collections of other people's in terms of fitted sneakers if you want to see that just let me know down below uh definitely be interested in doing it i know a lot of people that have collections pretty big as well so i'd be interested in doing so so yeah but uh anyways guys hope you all enjoyed my collection like i said it was really fun to do very tiring lots of talking i need some water now but um yeah thank you all for watching as always and once again happy new year guys have a safe new year stay safe and uh peace